So the time has finally come. We're going to be saying bye to the Orange Yorkshire Tiger buses. For some reason, it's all first going past me at the moment. It's just typical in YouTube recording fashion. Um, the, when you need a Tiger bus, they don't come. But we are saying farewell to Yorkshire Tiger this weekend. However, for this video, I was either had the choice of doing a farewell video or doing a first day Team Panine launch. Um, but what I've decided to do is Team Panine have come, it is Friday the 23rd of July and they are doing a launch in that corner over there, you can see a pig bus. So we're going to say, we're, say our farewells to Yorkshire Tiger and have a little look and see what Team Panine are bringing. So we'll head over there and have a nosey now. So we're now on board one of the E200s. These vehicles are 2016 registered vehicles, but as you can see from the inside, have had a lot of refurbishment. A lot of investment has gone into these prior to Team Panine taking over on Sunday. So the vehicle that we are on now is one of the Denby Dart branded, service, branded buses. The Denby Dart D1 service is replacing the Yorkshire Tiger 233 bus service on very similar timetable to the same frequency from this Sunday. So these vehicles will replace the current allocation that it tends to be um, anything from a mini cadet to a double decker. So it will standardise the vehicles. If we look up here as well, um, it has been fitted with Next Stop announcements. Next Stop announcements will be launched on the Denby Dart D1 service. Um, they will be, it will be the only service to have announcements initially and will hopefully improve customer experience to ensure that people do not miss their stops. So if you have a look around as well, you'll notice a lot of USBs. We have USBs here. We have USBs under the seats as well. The seats themselves have been heavily refurbished um, with the lovely Transdev moquette. We've got lovely headrests, headrests as well, very, very comfy bus. Um, and the branding around it, as usual, with Transdev, always going with the local themes, have localised it to include lots of information, lots of fun facts about Huddersfield, and we'll be doing the same for the services in Halifax. So an example of this is Jodie Whittaker, um, who starred recently in Doctor Who with the nice little TARDIS in the corner as well. So now it's time for me to sum up and say what is actually happening on Sunday. So today I'm recording on Friday the 23rd of July. Um, coming Sunday is, Friday, is Sunday the 25th of July. From Sunday the 25th of July, Yorkshire Tiger as an entity, as a name, will cease to exist. So Yorkshire Tiger um, as an operation, the depots, the um, buses, um, 61 out of 64 buses, and the routes except the 231 and 232 bus services will transfer over to Transdev, who are relaunching the company as Team Pennine. So all of the Yorkshire Tiger routes except the 231, 232 will be operated by buses, either with the orange livery with Team Pennine stickers over, or these lovely, newly refurbished vehicles. So we've got these um, launching initially, these 16 plates that have been refurbished. We've also got a small batch of Mellor Strata buses that are going to be launching in Halifax. So when they launch in Halifax, they will be launching onto local Elland bus services. Alongside these, later in the year, they're going to be upgrading the fleet even more with newer E200s um, that are around two years old. So they are going to constantly be upgrading the fleet, constantly adding investment into it, and constantly ensuring that the buses are nice, new, and add a refreshed brand to the operation. So why is Yorkshire Tiger, why is the name Yorkshire Tiger not being kept? Um, it's quite simple really, 
um, Arriva have kept the name. So Arriva have done this recently with a few different companies and different operations, um, but Yorkshire Tiger name is being retained by Arriva for potential further use. They might be used in a branded route. They may use it in another operation that they set up in the future, but they are keeping the Yorkshire Tiger name. Thus, why it's been relaunched under this brand new Team Pennine brand. So, as I say, from Sunday, and for those of you travelling around, um, sort of on Halifax and Huddersfield routes, all routes except the 231232 will be operated by buses with pink stickers on. So it'll be pink Team Pennine buses, usual friendly drivers, um, for those of you on the 233, your service is getting renumbered to the D1, and will feature these lovely, nice E200 vehicles. There's also potential for expansion. Um, I was speaking earlier, I was very lucky to speak to the Managing Director of Transdev, Mr Alex Hornby, who told me about the potential discussion that they're having for expanded services. Um, something that I did hint at um, was potential to expand this route, the D1, up to Barnsley. Um, because for those of you who do remember, before 2005, when Waterloo Depot that Team Panine are taking over was run by Yorkshire Traction. They used to run a direct Huddersfield to Barnsley service um, that was cut short at Denverdale. So there's potential for expansions like that. It's going to be very exciting to see what happens. But for now, um, I'll show you some more clips inside this bus. I'll show you some up close of the branding um, and then we'll have a little look at the existing Yorkshire Tiger fleet. So we're now going for a ride on the 233 that, as I mentioned earlier, this weekend from Sunday will become the D1 bus service. This is probably Yorkshire Tigers' main bus route and in every 30 minutes between Huddersfield and Denverdale. For this, we've got the lovely Midi Central 627. So we're now going for a short trip up to Meltham on the 324 bus service. So this vehicle was purchased from Ross Travel. This was a second hand purchase rather than one that was handed down from Centrebus. A nice vehicle and on a 58 reg and um, we'll have a little spin on this up to Meltham and back. So a very quick stop at Meltham um, and we're making our way back into Huddersfield. So this route is shared between Yorkshire Tiger and First um, Huddersfield who operate it on a coordinated timetable though Yorkshire Tiger run it a bit less frequently. So this vehicle YJ58PGK is one of the ones that will be getting replaced very soon once Transdev takeover and will be replaced probably by newer buses such as E200 MMCs. I'll explain the takeover and what's going to happen with some of the buses when we jump back on board. So now we're back on board, I will do a little video outro for today's show. So what's happening with Team Panine is there's going to be some changes. Obviously, as you've seen earlier, they're getting some new buses in. Um, to join those E200s that they're getting at the moment, at the end of next month, at the end of August, some new Mellow Strata buses 
will be arriving at Elland for use on the local Halifax services. The routes that used to be called the Calder Cubs. So we're going to be taking over on them and the Mellows will be running them. Alongside that, there's changes to the existing fleet. Um, at the end of around October time, there's going to be some new E200 MMCs arriving. Um, I had a discussion, very exciting. They're going to be replacing more vehicles in the fleet that will cascade away. It's also confirmed that from Saturday evening, the free Scania Omnilinks, um, 760, 761 and 762, are the free buses not moving to Team Panay. And those three Scanias will transfer into the Ariba Yorkshire fleet. So they'll be moving into the Ariba Yorkshire fleet. So as well as these new buses, these new E200, E200 MMCs arriving in October and the Mellows arriving at the end of August, there's also going to be some existing fleet refurbishments. There's going to be at least three temples, possibly some more, that are getting refurbished and repainted. Going to have an interior region, so they'll lose their tiger seating, as you can see behind me. They're getting standard transfer seating, and they're going to be branded up for the 435, 436, and 437 bus services between Hornplough and Wakefield. So they're going to be dedicated to those services in the same way the Denby Dart E200s are going to be dedicated to the D1 bus service. So it's going to be very exciting. Alongside that as well, by the end of August, by the sort of in a couple of months time um, at the most, a third of the existing Yorkshire Tiger fleet, like the one that we're travelling on now, is going to be getting withdrawn and replaced. So they are replacing vehicles and hopefully, probably by the end of the year, there'll be a very, very much a transformed fleet. But I will come back and record, obviously, I will see the transformation and I'll keep, keep them getting you guys updated with it. So to outro on this video, what I'm going to do is after I finish this bit, there's going to be a nice little segment of video clips and old photos I've taken from Yorkshire Tiger over the just under a decade that the Yorkshire Tiger name has been running in um, Yorkshire. Taken over from Centrebus, Centrebus Yorkshire, they used to run in Leeds and used to run what used to be called the Huddersfield Bus Company. Yorkshire Tiger has been around for quite a while now, been a unique company, it's had its ups, it's had its downs, but it is going to be missed. However, this new Team Pennine brand is promising new revitalisation, refurbishment, and hopefully an overall improved passenger experience for the customers who use these services day in, day out. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions or queries, let me know in the comments below, and if you have any suggestions as well, please get in touch. Well, again, thank you all for watching, be sure to subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this little montage of videos and photos that I'm about to show you. So see you all in my next video. Bye for now. Bye.